everybody welcome back to my youtube channel and welcome back to another video so today's video i'm so excited about it because it's something a little bit different for my channel and it's something i haven't done before but i really really hope you guys love it so you'll already seen by the title but i'm going to be comparing outfits from topshop and H&M. So what I have done is I've gone online and had a little shop on Topshop, had a little shop on H&M, and I've tried to buy the same outfit, or as near as possible, on each website, and I thought we could compare what they look like and see which outfit comes out on top, see which one's more expensive, which one's cheaper, and yeah, see which one we think is the best outfit. I actually got the idea for this video from Catherine Bond, so please do make sure you check out her video. I will link it in the description below. And without further ado, let's get into it. So the first outfit I wanted to do was a very basic black jumpsuit. So the reason I've chosen a black jumpsuit is because black jumpsuits are so versatile. They are really easy to wear no matter what your size, your height, your shape, your hair colour. I just thought it was a real wardrobe staple for kind of summer, autumn. And this is the black jumpsuit that I've picked up from H&M. So this is the H&M one. I love it because it has gorgeous ruffled straps and it also has this kind of stretchy material along the waist and then the trousers are slightly flared. So I absolutely love it. The quality is lovely. And um, this is what it looks like from the back as well. It's very, very plain and simple. And I will be linking all of these outfits in the description box below in case you wanted to pick anything up. But this is the H&M one. And this is the Topshop one. I think I've done quite a good job <laughs> on matching these. So this is the Topshop one again. It has gorgeous, gorgeous ruffled sleeves. The sleeves are more kind of stretchy on this one. They're not as fitted. Um, and then it does have the same kind of crepe material middle to it. And then it also does have slightly flared trousers. So I would say from first impressions, let's have a look at them both. So this is the H&M one, this is the Topshop one. I would say I prefer the sleeves of the H&M one. Um, I prefer the general feel of the Topshop one, but let's see what they look like on. Okay, so this is the H&M black jumpsuit and I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I love it. <laughs> It is so beautiful and so incredibly flattering as well. This is what it looks like all together. I am also wearing my little H&M heels, which I don't hate. I actually like them way more now that they are on. Um, I wasn't sure about them before I put them on, but they are super comfy. And so I will be wearing these with all of my H&M outfits. But this is the first outfit and honestly, I think it is beautiful. It's so flattering. I love the waistband. I love the sleeves. I knew I would. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like. Okay, so this is the Topshop black jumpsuit. I think it is absolutely stunning. Um, it obviously fits me maybe a little bit better than the H&M one, but... It's so short on me. I don't know why it's coming up really, really short. Um, but I do definitely prefer the trousers on the H&M one. Um, I do prefer the top of the Topshop one because I do think it fits a little bit better. The sleeves, they're probably even. Um, but here's what it looks like from the side. Um, and then from behind, it is quite tight. So like you can probably see my underwear line, which isn't really the look I'm going for. Um, but this is overall what it looks like. I do think this one is a bit more unforgiving. <laughs> so it definitely shows all of my curves and lumps and bumps, which is fine. But I think I prefer the H&M one. Overall, I'm gonna go with H&M, um, but I do prefer the Topshop shoes. <laughs> okay, so outfit number two, I have picked a white broidery anglais style top, and then I've also paired it with a pair of light shorts. So this is the H&M version. 
So this is the Broderie Anglais top. I love this top so much. The detail is so, so beautiful. It's such a pretty, girly, floaty top. Um, I have gone for a size small in everything as well, just for frame of reference. So it's either a size small or a size eight. Um, but this, oh, this is what the top looks like. It just has kind of sleeves probably down to just above my elbow. Um, and then the back just has a bit of a cut out detail as well, just to show a little bit more flesh. But the structure is lovely, the quality is lovely on this H&M top. I love it. And then the shorts, I've gone for this very neutral, just like a beigey kind of colour. Um, I love the fact that they have a paper bag detail to the waist. So they're going to come up slightly more high-waisted. They do have belt loops in case you wanted to wear a belt with this. And they also do have these little pockets, which are real pockets, which... If you watch my channel, you'll know that that's a big tick from me. Um, but otherwise, the shorts feel lovely. They feel really, really nice quality. I love the kind of tortoiseshell detail of the buttons. The back of the shorts, again, are fairly plain, um, but they do feel really, really nicely and well made, um, which I love. So this is my H&M version of this outfit. And then from Topshop, I have picked up this Broderie Anglaise blouse. But on Topshop, I struggled to find a plain white blouse. And um, so I've gone for this one and it's slightly different. It does have pink running through it, which is slightly more girly, I know. Um, but it is this gorgeous Broderie Anglaise style as well. The thing I love about this Topshop blouse is it also has puff sleeves, which I am just obsessed with at the moment. If you follow me on Instagram, you will know. <laughs> but this blouse has these gorgeous, gorgeous puff sleeves. Um, it is slightly more formal than the other blouse, so it doesn't have the cutout detail on the front or the back. It is more of a shirt, more of a blouse feel. Um, but the quality of this is stunning. The look of it is stunning. I have already tried it on, which is why it's unbuttoned. Um, but yeah, this is the top that I've gone for. And then these are the Topshop shorts that I've gone for. So again, I've gone very, very neutral. I've gone for the high-waisted paper bag detail. These shorts also have such a similar tortoiseshell button. But these ones are more of a fake leather style. So instead of being material like the other shorts, these ones are more of a pleather. So they do have pockets, which is a definite win. Um, they also have a little kind of pocket detail on the back. Not too fussy, it is a faux pocket, um, but I still love it. It also has the belt loops, which I love in case you wanted to wear a belt. But I love the turn up detail of these as well. I think it just adds something else to the short. But this is the Topshop version. So I'm not sure which one of these I prefer. I'm gonna have to try them both on. Um, and I'll tell you my verdict then, but at the moment, I can't decide. <laughs> okay, so here is outfit number two, and this is the H&M version. So, we have this gorgeous broderie Anglais top, which I just think is stunning. It's so beautiful. It's such a beautiful fit as well. I think it's gorgeous. And then I have these shorts as well, which I think are amazing. Yes, I know they need an iron. <laughs> These are literally out of the bag, which is why they are creased. Um, but I will get around to steaming them when my new steamer arrives. But these shorts are so incredibly comfortable. They feel amazing too. They almost have like a suede vibe to them and they're so comfy. And then again, I've got my shoes on and then I've paired it with this big old oversized bag. And yeah, this is the look. Okay, so here is the Topshop version of this outfit. I am in love with it. <laughs> um, I absolutely love this shirt. I think the sleeves are stunning. They're so, so beautiful. And then this side as well. I just think the structure of the shirt is so gorgeous. And um, I love the shorts as well, actually. I wasn't sure if I would like these, but actually they're such a nice structure. I really, really like the detail on them. I love these kind of turn ups here. And then this is what it looks like from the side and then behind. I think it's a super, super flattering outfit. Um, this bag as well, I do prefer compared to the other one, which was huge. Um, but the overall outfit, here's what it looks like all together. And yeah, I just absolutely love it. Love, 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 love. <laughs> so for outfit number three, I've gone for another kind of slightly more classic 
look and I've gone for a long dotty dress so this is a long black and white polka dot dress this one is the H&M dress now it has this gorgeous almost like a ruched detail to the front which I'm not sure how well you're going to see it on camera but it does have these slightly puffable long sleeves and then there is a detail that cinches you in at the waist so it's elasticated which I love and then it does just come out and flow into this really gorgeous long dress so it's very, very plain and simple, but I just think a dress like this is going to be timeless. It's going to be one of those things that you can pop in your wardrobe. You can wear it spring, summer, autumn, winter, whenever. It's going to be one of those staple pieces, which is why I decided to pick it up. So this is the H&M version. It does feel really nice quality. Um, there's a lot of material for your money. I love the ruche detail. And yeah, I think this is a really, really pretty dress. And then this is the Topshop version. So the Topshop version, again, I've gone for a long sleeve detail. These sleeves aren't elasticated. They're more of a formal kind of blousey feel to them. Um, as with the top, so the top does button up, but you do have a collar and it is much more of a slightly more formal feel, I feel. <laughs> great <laughs> but it doesn't have the cinching detail around the waist the top shop one but it does have a pleated skirt at the end so there is a difference in the detail so it goes from straight to pleat and then the bottom of the dress is just this lovely waterfall pattern then on the back it is just very plain and simple again now this dress does feel slightly thinner than the h&m dress it is a thinner material um but it is, it's a nice material, you know, so it doesn't feel like a cottony, fabric-y material. It feels very silky, it feels very sophisticated, um, so I do really like this material. Again, I'm not sure which one I prefer. I like the material of this one. I prefer the H&M dress because it doesn't have the collar, um, but again, I'm just going to have to try them on and see what they both look like. So this is why I wanted to share this style of dress with you. It's because it's so incredibly flattering. So this is the H&M dress, which I actually think I could have sized down in because I have this kind of elasticated waist detail, but my waist is like here, so I could have probably sized down. Um, but the overall dress, I think, is so beautiful. It is absolutely stunning. Um, this this is what it looks like it's just beautiful the quality is amazing i love the puffed nature of the sleeves as well um, i love the rouge detail and i love how kind of flowy it is at the bottom and here's what it looks like from the side as well um, and then i have just teamed it with this kind of shoulder bag really so yeah it's just a real kind of classic classy elegant look i think um and yeah i just love it okay so this is thrown a bit of a spanner in the works. <laughs> I thought I wouldn't really like this style of dress um, because of the collar and because it looks slightly more formal. But oh my gosh, I love it. <laughs> I think it is so, so beautiful. The colorway is stunning. The fit is stunning. I love the fact that it has this pleated detail at the bottom. I actually love the shirt style um, of the top of the dress as well. I think it's so pretty. And yeah, I actually love it. I think I might prefer this one, guys, over the H&M version, which I'm actually quite surprised about because I didn't think I would. <laughs> and then, of course, these outfits wouldn't be complete without their accessories. So I did try and pick up a couple of accessories from both H&M and Topshop to pair with these outfits in different ways. And I have picked up this bag, which is a very neutral, it's like a hobo style bag. Um, you can just have a shorter strap or you can have a longer strap. This is the H&M version of the bag. Now, it's like a faux leather bag. Um, it is just a shoulder bag that you can literally just pop under. It's a really, really good size. Um, I love the colour, actually. It's like a real, it's like a chalky grey beige grayish <laughs> colour with silver hardware details um, and then it just does have one zip with one big compartment to kind of pop everything in so really really like this bag oh I got a whiff of not a very nice smell then Ugh, I'm gonna I'm gonna close this one up <laughs> um okay the zip isn't the best um or you can wear it kind of longer and have it as a longer bag but this is the first bag that I picked up. 
And then its Topshop counterpart is this. This bag is something else. So, I mean, this is already my favorite if you can't tell. But this bag, again, it's like the grayish color, but this is the placid patterned bag and it is this patchwork detail and it is just stunning. I've seen these bags online on Topshop for ages, um, but I haven't picked one up until now. But this is just absolutely beautiful. I think, I mean, obviously I'm gonna take the, um, Let's just take this off now. Here we go. So this is how long the strap is. It does hang a bit lower than the other bag, um, but oh my goodness, this is just stunning. The feel of it is amazing. Um, it feels really, really good quality actually. The zip, a lot better than the H&M bag. And then it just does have this big old compartment here to put all of your things in. So I'm loving, loving this Topshop bag. And then I did pick up another side of bag. So this bag is actually the Topshop version. So I've gone for a very classic summery straw bag. Um, I love this bag from Topshop. I think it's stunning. You can carry it as a little summer bag like this. I love the little shell detail along the front. I think it adds something really nice and extra to the bag. It then does up just with this little popper here. Oh. So you can open it up, pop all your things in. And then I love the fact that it has a shoulder strap as well, which is a dark brown color. So you can just carry it like this. I think this bag is gorgeous. So this is the Topshop bag. <laughs> okay, so the H&M version of this. I didn't look at the size dimensions when I ordered this online. So <laughs> this is the H&M version. <laughs> yep, it's huge. <laughs> so I might have got this in a slightly bigger size than I thought. Um, but nevertheless, it's a round straw style bag, so we can still compare it. <laughs> but this one is is massive. I mean, I think I could fit in this bag. Um, but it's huge. It doesn't have a popper, which is a downside for me because I feel like things are just gonna go flailing around everywhere in here. But I do like the fact that you can just pop it over your shoulder. Um, it sits really, really nicely and the detail is gorgeous. It is just massive. And this try on wouldn't be complete without a pair of shoes. So from H&M, I have picked up these white strappy shoes, which I do think are lovely. Um, they are they are slightly basic, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I've gone for a size six. I've gone for these heeled sandals. So they're really, really ever so slightly heeled. Um, they do have a tiny bit of cushioning in them. Um, I think these are gonna look better on because they do look quite plain and basic, just holding them up. The Topshop version. I have already worn <laughs> because I love them. So these are the Topshop version. These are these heeled gorgeous sandals and they have a block heel which is square which I just think is so, so gorgeous. And then they do have the white kind of straps and the crossover with the buckle and I just think these are absolutely beautiful. The quality is amazing. As I say, I've already worn them and they are so comfy and beautiful. So love these. And that is it for today's video, guys. I really, really hope you've enjoyed it. It's something a little bit different, um, but I've had so much fun picking out these items and sharing them with you guys. Let me know in the comments below which outfits were your favorite. H&M, Topshop, let me know. And also let me know which other retailers you would like me to do a head-to-head -head against. Um, I'm definitely gonna be filming more of these videos because yeah, I just loved it. So I hope you loved it too. Please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And also I'd love to have you around for the long term so feel free to hit that subscribe button and i'll see you for the very next video bye